Let's continue with our series on linear programming. This is part 5, solving problems with unbounded feasible uh, sets. Uh, this is where we uh, uh, stopped uh, in the previous, in, in part 4 uh, of this uh, uh, mini-series on uh, uh, linear programming. So we have uh, a set F, which is a feasible set, uh, and uh, F is also uh, unbounded. Um, so in this screencast, uh, we'll uh, discuss um, several techniques on how to handle unbounded uh, feasible sets. So, um, if um, uh, F um, is unbounded, and um, um, it has a uh, corner point, For the definition of the corner point, you can uh, take a look at um, uh, the previous uh, four uh, screencasts um, of this series. So we have um, uh, two types of problems right, in linear programming. Uh, there's a maximization problem where the objective function uh, must be maximized. Uh, so the objective function is typically called f, small f. Um, uh, so uh, then if we have a maximization problem, uh, then uh, uh, we can say that f attains a maximum value at uh, a uh, corner point. Right? So, one. Or, if that is not the case, then there is no solution uh, because uh, f takes arbitrarily, arbitrary really a large positive um, values on the feasible set f so there's no solution we cannot uh, we cannot maximize f in this case so the problem in this case has uh, uh, no solution or we have a minimum problem Right in the case of uh, minimization, rather, uh, m in the case of the minimization problem, if we need to uh, minimize uh, f, uh, then um, in um, uh, the first case, that's mutually exclusive cases, two mutually exclusive cases, in uh, the first case we again have uh, uh, the situation where f attains a minimum um, at a corner uh, point of a feasible set. Or in the second case, f will take arbitrarily large negative uh, values, in which case we will have no solution. Right? We cannot uh, a function that takes arbitrarily large negative values cannot be minimized because for any value uh, we will have uh, another value which is uh, even more negative than uh, the value that we have chosen. So, and we should remember that this is on f. Right, the feasible set f. Okay, so let's consider how to handle maximization and minimization uh, problems on uh, the um, unbounded feasible set. So uh, f is unbounded. And um, there's a corner point. So uh, if, first case, uh, we have a um, maximization uh, problem, Then uh, we need to uh, find a uh, corner point, and well, by assumption, 
uh, f is unbounded has at least one corner point so we'll always have a corner point we will have to find a corner point where f uh, attains uh, its largest value okay and then um, since we're dealing with linear programming a feasible set there will be uh, two lines right uh, that will meet at that corner point let me illustrate it really quick so let's say that we have this unbounded feasible set okay and we have two corner points here and let's say here right and let's assume that this is the point the corner point where f has its maximum value so this is c2 this is c1 so uh, there are two lines that meeting at uh, c1 and uh, f of c1 uh, is uh, maximum right it's greater than c2 so we choose two lines arbitrarily uh, p1 and p2 so long as they line on the lines that meet at the corner point and we need to make sure that uh, f of p1 the value of the um, objective function at both of those points uh, are greater than or equal to the value of the objective function at uh, c1 at that corner point if that is the case right so arbitrarily chosen uh, points on the two lines that are meeting at the corner uh, point um, right, uh, have the property of uh, having the values of objective function being uh, less than or uh, equal to the value of the objective function at the mm, uh, uh, corner point right of c1 then uh, c1 is a solution so uh, f of p1 has to be greater than or equal to f of c1 and f of p2 has to be uh, 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 less than less than or equal to f of c um, uh, c1 uh, otherwise there is uh, there is no solution so we have choose uh, uh, right so choose two points uh, uh, and uh, uh, then make sure that uh, both of them uh, the value of the objective function um, uh, at uh, both of them uh, is um, less than or equal to uh, the value of uh, the objective function at that corner point where the lines meet if we have the uh, a minimization problem uh, then um, we need to find a corner point where f has its uh, minimum value and then make well choose the uh, uh, arbitrary points on the lines that meet at that corner point and uh, just by symmetry if the values of um, the objective function at those arbitrarily chosen points are greater than or equal to the value at the corner point of the, uh, the value of the objective function at the corner point then we have a solution otherwise if that condition um, uh, is not met then there is no solution so here's the situation so let's say that we have two corner points and uh, c1 is the uh, minimum or well it's a corner point where the objective function attains its uh, minimum has its smallest value then we need to choose um, right so this is uh, the first line an arbitrary point on the first line this is an arbitrary point on the second line and so long as f of p1 is greater than or, or equal to f of c1 and um, f of um, uh, p2 uh, is also greater than or equal to f of c um, uh, c1 then there is a solution otherwise uh, there is no solution well there is a solution in the sense that uh, c1 is the um, corner point that we need that we're looking for
So let's consider two examples. Both of them are minimization problems, but uh, maximization problems are solved in a similar fashion. So let's say that we need to minimize uh, uh, the objective function of 3x plus uh, 5, 0, and the constraints are x uh, greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0, and then the other two constraints, um, 0.8x plus 0.2y uh, greater than or equal to 90, and 3x plus 6y uh, greater than or equal to 600. So, so this is the feasible set, um, uh, unbounded uh, feasible set, um, for marked with blue lines. The boundaries are marked with blue lines. So uh, the corner points are also marked CP1, CP2, and CP3. And then uh, uh, we show the value, the upper, uh, uh, the top, uh, the top right corner shows the uh, values of the objective function at each of the corner points. Then we find the equations of the lines that are meeting at uh, the value of the objective function CP2 where F uh, attains its smallest value, 550. And <coughs> so we choose two um, uh, points on those uh, lines, 120 and um, uh, 40. And then um, that's going to be the first point. And then the second point is going to be 50 and... Mm, uh, 250. So this is uh, okay P2, and this is uh, this is P1. So we will evaluate the value of the objective function at um, both of those points, and so long as those two values are greater than or equal to uh, the value of the objective function at CP2, then uh, we um, can claim that uh, CP2 is the point uh, that uh, we want. So that corner point. Um, is the um, a point where f of x can be minimized uh, at this feasible set for this for this problem. So uh, and indeed uh, f of uh, f of p two is equal to fourteen hundred, which is greater than uh, five hundred and fifty, and f of p one is five hundred and sixty, which is also greater than uh, five hundred and fifty. So um, f of uh, P2 is greater than f of uh, C1, as well CP, uh, 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 CP2, right? Because that's the CP2, uh, critical point 2. Um, and uh, f of P1 is uh, greater than uh, uh, CP2. So this is indeed the solution, well, a solution that we, uh, that we seek, so the minimum. Uh, let's um, uh, slightly modify this example. Uh, it's also minimization, so by slightly modifying the uh, objective function. So 5x um, minus 3y, right? Uh, so the same feasible set, just different objective function. So let's evaluate the objective function at each of the corner points, minus uh, 1350. Uh, at CP2, it's uh, uh, 350, and at CP3, it'll be 1,000. So, um, so this is the corner point where uh, it, it, we have a potential of attaining a minimum. So let's put a question mark and choose um, the first point on the line that meets at um, that potential solution, right? So let's take a point, uh, uh, well, say 0, 700, and evaluate um, the objective function 5x minus 3y uh, at um, P1. Right. So the value of um, it'll be um, minus 3 times uh, 700, which is minus uh, uh, 21, minus 2100. Right? So um, there is no, uh, the, 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 this problem does not have a solution because uh, f of P1 is uh, uh, strictly less than f of uh, cp1 uh, and it has to be greater than or equal to so no solution we actually don't need to check uh, the other lines right. so this is to be continued 